In this video, we're going to use algebraic tests to test for symmetry in the equation x times y equals four. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So we're going to test for x-axis symmetry, y-axis symmetry, and origin symmetry. Let's start first with x-axis symmetry. So to test for x-axis symmetry, we replace y with negative y. And if we get the same thing, the answer is yes, we have x-axis symmetry. So we're placing y with negative y, we have x times negative y equals four. So we have minus xy equals four. So this is not the same equation we have here, so the answer is no. So again, to test for x-axis symmetry, you replace y with negative y in your equation. If you get the same equation, the answer is yes. If you don't, the answer is no. Let's test now for y-axis symmetry. So to test for y-axis symmetry, you replace x with negative x in your equation. If you get the same thing, the answer is yes, you have y-axis symmetry. If you don't, the answer is no. So again, we're going to replace x with negative x in our equation. But this is the same thing as minus x, y equals four. And so this is not equal to the original equation. The answer is no, we do not have y-axis symmetry. So recap, to test for x-axis symmetry, you replace the other variable, replace y with negative y. If you get the same equation, the answer is yes. If you don't, the answer is no. To test for y-axis symmetry, you replace the other variable, so x, with negative x. If you get the same equation, the answer is yes, you have y-axis symmetry. If you don't, the answer is no. The last one we're gonna test for is called origin symmetry. Test for origin symmetry, you replace both x and y with negative x and negative y respectively. So instead of x, we have negative x. Instead of y, we have negative y. And this is equal to four. And look at this, negative and negative is positive, so we're just gonna get x, y equals four. We got the same equation, so in this case, the answer is yes. We have origin symmetry in this example. So again, to test for origin symmetry, you replace both variables, x and y, with negative x and negative y. You get the same equation, the answer is yes. If you don't, the answer is no. Hopefully this video has taught you how to use algebraic tests to test for symmetry. If you feel like it's helped, make sure to check out other videos. Until next time, good luck and take care.